Hey folks, it's Grimwit from NatEvil.com, and if you'll remember, we were running from Shagats. Actually, we were running from fucking everything. This is not the way we wanted to go. That much we know. So we are not going to go this direction anymore. I would rather risk going up against uh, that Shagath in the other room. Anyway, so we go back downstairs. Yes, we do. And we go crazy because there's Shagath noise everywhere. Hey, wait. I don't remember that. When did I do this? Don't matter to me. I can use this, maybe. Not sure. We'll try it. Okay, this is by far probably the stupidest thing I've ever tried to do. Yes! Exit! Fuck all y'all, I'm out of here! Except Shagath. Bye! Okay. Let me just take a second, because I just went straight from the last episode to this episode without up stopping, and I'm still really nervous. So, okay. I distinctly heard more Shagath noise. Oh, yeah, this place. We're in World 7. I distinctly hear Shagath screaming, but I've got so much stealth up the wazoo that I'm not crazy worried about it. Um, yeah, sure, we'll grab the grappling gun. Don't know when I can use that, but I'll, I'll have it. Okay, something just killed Amigo. Albino penguin! Albino penguin! You and me, albino penguin. Whatever, albino penguin. I just realized I'm headed towards the yelling. That's not necessarily a great thing. Okay, Migos are bad news. Let's go the other way. They're not, you know, death-proof like the friggin', uh... Man, it's dark. Like the friggin' Shagaths are. But they are just kind of a bummer. Hmm. Well, don't mind if I do kill you all. You know your place, icicles? The ground. Remember, stalagmites might grow up. But not if we can help it. That's a comment that they're not going to grow up. Like, they're not going to have... grow up, get old, have children, taunt cultists. Oh, shit, that, that scared me. Okay, seriously? <laughs> That's dead. I am mostly okay, except from friggin' cultists. All this dark is making my eyes hurt. Oh, shit. I spy with my little eye. I can't remember. Do the cultists and the Migos like each other? It seems like they would. Well, we're gonna go in this little doorway right here. Oh, that's what I was hearing. Right here, buddy. I never ever use the grappling gun. Like, I can't think of a reason why I would. Okay, I'm digging this. This is cool. 
But there's probably tons of bugs and crap over here. Hey, what's up, man? And I got some coins. For my, uh, you know, stealth thing. Uh, I will admit that I'm kind of lost. I, I don't actually know where I am. Oh, shit. Okay. That's Amigo. Now here's where the game really, like, that sense of dread this game supplies is kind of awesome, in a weird masochistic sense. Turn around. Because it, the sound... oh shit. Okay, it's gonna turn around that direction. Sneak around behind him and kill him. It's the sound effects, mostly. The sound design has distinct sounds for each critter. Uh, the Shagath being the most brilliant. I'll get to that in a second. So, you know what to expect with each sound. And you're like, well, you know what? So what, Mike? Well, because of that, it makes it so that it's the sound you're afraid of. Because you know what's coming. It's going to be one of those Migos, and those guys are fast, right? Or worse, it's a Shugoth. Those guys are indestructible and, like, unstoppable and scary. A little scary. <laughs> the jumps... It does have jump scares, you know? Um, and the jump scares are totally f from the whole uh, traps and the gas... Or the gasps. I don't know what their actual name is. Or another good example. Let's open this up. Uh, there we go. Monies. Oh my god, I'm rich. Um, jump scares aside, jump scares do not a good horror game make. And I wouldn't even call this a horror game per se. This is a stealth FPS. It's a stealth game. But that's cool. You know, it's good at what it does. I wouldn't exactly call this, you know, mind-tearing madness. But along those same lines, name a, you know, name a Lovecraft story that actually had madness involved in it. Which, you're like, come on, right? It's Lovecraft. He's synonymous with madness. But really, how many protagonists go insane? I'm trying to think of any. There's a lot who think they've gone insane. Did I kill this guy, or did the penguin? Can't remember. Hmm. Oh shit. some of these bullets. <laughs> that penguin's just like, did I kill him, or did somebody else? What the hell? Hey, penguin, right here, dude. Making sure there's no surprises. I hate surprises. That's not true. I love surprises. But I, want, I hate surprises when they involve my death. Kill him? Nope. Right here, dude. Right. Where was I? Okay, that was a waste of bullets. My bad. Hmm. Nothing in here. In any case. Um, you, you know what? Lovecraft mostly was about 
that kind of finding out that the universe is actually just indifferent. Like, humans aren't so special. But along the same lines, there's kind of this horror of finding out. It's the finding out that's scary. I don't know. Ooh. Health. I don't I don't need it, but there it is. And a dead guy. That's that's not a good thing. Let's fall down here. Okay, that was also a waste of bullets. Oh no, a bug. However will I defeat you, bug? Just go over here, let you forget that I was even here. And then sneak up behind and murder. Yay. And there was much rejoicing. Hmm, I think I see the exit over there. I hope so. Let's find out. No, no exit here, damn it. Okay, let's hide in the forest of mushrooms. See what all is here. There's usually something in the corners. Artifacts. I'll accept coinage. And, uh, hmm. Blink. So a friend of mine, one of my uh, fans fan of Natch Evil, that is, had turned me on to uh, a comic which you've probably already heard of called Homestuck. And uh, I'm just talking to Phil Time. I understand why people like it, and I think I understand why it's got sort of a bad rap. Ah, icicles. Totally worth it. I think the bad rap comes from the fans. I'm, I'm not real sure. Mostly I see like a lot of fans dressed up as trolls from the comic, which they are trolls. I mean, troll trolls. They're like trolling people and so forth. Like you mad bro kind of thing, only angrier. And I know a guy that's exactly like that. <laughs> Seriously. He is my favorite asshole. But, um... I'm not real sure why the fans would identify with that... <laughs> damn it. Character. Because those characters are, by and large, meant to be unlikable. They're trolls. I mean, they are likable because it's a good character design. The guy who writes it actually knows what the hell he's doing when it comes to character design, but... I'm just saying that why, why would you want to be the unlikable guy? I don't know. Like I said, I'm just talking to talk. Because this is... not entirely... interesting. Okay, I am not making a noise. Why is he freaking out? Where is he? Huh? He says? Hmm? He says? There we go. I'm not up here to climb, I'm up here to kind of get a gander. Okay, neither of these places has what I want or need. And I'm pretty sure there's a shug off in one of them. Not cool. In any case, I like Homestuck. I don't think I'm gonna be like one of those fans, as if association with a comic will turn you into the worst part of the comic. But, uh, you know, he probably appreciates the fan involvement and everything. And he's got a winning formula, but for the most part, it is kind of 
user. Oh, no, that's not right. Fan interaction that makes uh, the comic move. He gets the ideas mostly from his fans. And that's brilliant because you're involving your readers. Awesome. That, like, really cool idea. I tried to do something similar with, uh, with Whirlsend, although I'm not, didn't quite give that much. Um, okay, this has got to be to the exit. I didn't quite give that much power to the readers or the listeners in case of the Whirlsend uh, uh, podcast. It was more of just something to kind of spark my imagination with the writing. Uh, that said, it is awfully complicated. There's a ton of characters. Does there need to be this many characters? Maybe I'm just being like... Okay, what the hell? Where's the exit? Oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, there we go. Guys, I think we're further down than I've ever been before. Pause there. Wow. Level the eighth. Cool. Let's... Let's do this. Right. I hear Shugoth. I hear some guy setting off his own trap. I see one of those crystal thingies. What is that? No, it's not what I think it is. There's a climb up. Don't be around the corner. Okay, good. Ooh. Um, hmm. Go ahead and go in here. I was hoping there would be something. And a dagger. There's a... Hi. What's up, man? Boo. That's two, right? Three, four, five, six. Huh. That's a tough. Six hits with a knife. Aw, oh, does somebody wish he could climb ladders? Speaking of ladders, what's down there? Seems to be far away from this uh, Shagath sound, so I'll take it. Right now, I'm pretty overpowered. I mean, I got like tons of bullets and not bullets, whatever aren't bullets. Nothing over here. Lots of monster stuff. Hearing lots of monsters. Hisses and hootens and... Oh, hey! Hey, it's the Happy Shagoth. What's this? A camping kit. That's cool. Is that a destruction amulet? Oh my god, I think I love you. How much is it? How much do you want for it? 30? Done. Thanks. Also, um, I'm gonna have some of this baked meat for 15. Sure. And, uh, I don't really need any keys anymore. I wouldn't mind having some extra bullets. Nah, you know what? No. That's still good. Hey, thanks! What a nice lady. I'm assuming lady. Alright, destruction amulet. I realize that that doesn't... That makes it so that my stealth is not as easy to use. But it also makes it so that I can just, like, completely murder everybody. But more importantly, drill through walls. Like, for example, I'm at a dead end. I don't really want to be at a dead end. Let's drill through a wall. Uh, I pick you, wall. Meow. Two, three, four, 
Four? Oh, that's right, destruction amulet. I'm slightly more powerful. Let's go ahead and grab this bullet right here, which I'll need. There's more bullets downstairs. I like that. I want those. Okay, nobody hiding around here. Grab that, and I need to be closer to grab that one. That, and let's also kill this guy. <laughs> okay. But Mike, shouldn't you save your ammo? Yeah, well, you know, I'm thinking about it. Oof. Wait, why is that guy dead? Uh-oh. Okay. There's another one of these crawl space rooms. I like this. Hey, what's up? Uh, alright. I don't really have anything I want. What's in here? Ooh, monies. Don't see another bad guy. Grab this. Oh, man. I did not know that guy was there. I just instinctively started swinging the knife around. Alright, so, we got a choice. Hi. all the things. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Rock attack. What you gonna do, bitch? And now he's like, I'll get you. How dare you hit me with that rock? And I'll be like, whatever. That's what I do. I have little conversations with myself like this. Just the whole, he'll be like, and I'll be like, and he'll be like, and I'll be like... Oh, uh, hmm. I'll take care of him. Oh, hi. Don't, don't reveal my hiding place. Damn it. I think I hear health. Hmm. You know, speaking of the uh, sound design, you would think some up would come up with an idea actually let's go this way come up with the idea of sound becoming quieter or louder depending on whether or not you're pointing towards what's making the sound like I, I don't know it just seems like it would happen it seems like somebody should have already thought of that I guess, you know, maybe not, but why not, you know? Yeah, health. Don't need it, but there it is. Grab that. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going this way. I'll drill a hole if I need to. I... I think I need to. Hmm. No, nah, no, nope. Gonna do it. There we go. Ah! Health! Alright, th this is it. Wow. I cannot believe... Pause for a second. Level 9! Furthest we've been. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna cut the video here. Woof. Tune in next time, because shit's getting real all of a sudden. Not sure why. Alright. 
I'll see you guys.